Do try the simplest of sick room disinfectants, a plate full of sliced onions. <laughs> I'm Christian. When I was a little kid, I joined Cub Scouts. And then I quit. And I'm not totally sure why I quit, and I've kind of always regretted that decision. So here's my idea. I want some adventure, but I can't become an official Boy Scout. So I'm gonna do it all on my own. I'm gonna do the entire curriculum of Scouts from Cub all the way up to Eagle in one year. It's called Old Scout. They're just like buzzy flies. Yeah. Oh yeah, you brought them over here with you. I didn't. Welcome to Old Scout number 43. 43. <laughs> uh, this week we're working on the camping merit badge. Uh, so we're here in Cherry Valley, New York. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Beautiful temperature. Mm -hmm. Not too hot, not too cold. Very uh, bright. Bit of a bugs. That's I forgot okay. my hat. She forgot her hat and now she has to squint into the sun. Um, so what are the requirements for this week? Okay, requirement number one, have camped out 50 days and nights. Does that mean like during Old Scout or does that mean over the course of my whole life? I'm thinking that means ever. Okay, I think that's... Like you I can call yourself that. a camper when you've camped 50 days and nights. Yeah, I think I've done that my yeah. whole life. Yeah. Yep. Demonstrate how to put up a tent and arrange for overnight shelter in all weathers. I can't wait. Uh, while on a hike or camp, make a camp bed on the ground using native materials gathered nearby and sleep on bed at least one night. <laughs> so like straw? Pine straw? Yeah, or like leaves or... Leaves and pine straw crinkle stuff? Yeah, you just collect enough Spread out enough some crinkle and... stuff. Lay on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, number four. Make a fire with flint and steel using for tender native material which he has personally gathered. Okay. Make a fire. Mm -hmm. It seems like a requirement for every single merit badge is make a fire. Yes, but this Bird one is study, not, make a fire. This one's not matches. This yeah. one is different, a okay. little bit. All right. Describe a campsite which you have selected for a patrol or troop camp and give reasons for the choice, and then draw a ground plan for the layout of this camp. Okay, all right. Um, number seven is three parts. Mm. A, present himself for inspection, correctly clothed and equipped for a three-day camp. Okay. B. Demonstrate your ability to pack properly against wet weather and transport this equipment on your back. Okay. And C. Submit a satisfactory menu and list of provisions for a three-day camp. All right. A menu like what I'm going to cook. Yeah. Yeah. Or eat. Yeah. Some stuff you don't cook. Uncookables. Uncookables? What do they call that? Uncookables? Uh, I don't think it's uncookables. <laughs> it's definitely not uncookables. <laughs> Not need to cookables? <laughs> Not need to cookables. I think that's it. The final one is tell what precautions should be taken on a patrol or troop hike or camp during the swimming period mm. or in the use of boats or canoes. Okay. This is really like talking about like if you're actually going to scout camp. Uh-huh. So <laughs> during the swimming period. The swimming uh, period. So what is it? Like uh, have a buddy. Buddy system, always good. Yeah. Don't, For both don't get in no water that you don't, you don't know anything about. They yeah. can have piranhas. No, probably not. Well, maybe. I mean, maybe if you're in Peru. What if you're on a trip in Amazon? Yeah, that would work. Avoid unknown canoes. What if it's somebody's canoe? Yeah, basically canoe? just like kind of look up what you're going to be. If you're going to be using a boat, do a little research before. Mm -hmm. So okay. that one's done. All right. So All right. Uh, is that it? That's it. All right. Let's go find a campsite. All right. Bye. Bye. There's so many bugs. Perfect. There's so many bugs. So that many was bugs. good. We're so done. many bugs. Here is my pack. And here's what's inside it. The pack, a tent, a sleeping mat, a sleeping bag, compass, knife, hatchet, rope and tarp, three days of clothes, camping miscellanea, kitchen stuff, and my camping book. Then I gotta pack them all up to get them real small. Then pack them into my pack. Here is an x-ray view of how I packed my bag.
feels pretty good. Feels well, well balanced. Maybe a little heavy, but not too bad. My menu for the three day hike is every day for breakfast is coffee and a chewy bar. Every day for lunch is an assorted amount of jerky, salmon jerky or beef jerky or turkey jerky. Uh, and then for dinner on night one would be hot dogs. On night two would be beanie weenies. And on night three would be ABCs and one, two, threes by Chef Boyardee. Okay. <laughs> So one option is that we could camp like in sort of this open area. Yeah, but what if it rains? Right, because we want trees nearby to hang the tarp from. Gotta hang it from something. Okay, so there's some woods up there. Yeah. We could go explore those woods. Mm-hmm. Very difficult for me to not just scrap this entire merit badge and just bird watch all day. <laughs> I can hear them. Or just all we would have to do is get out the binoculars and nobody would know. <sighs> we could just bird watch all day. There's probably a bunch that we haven't seen yet. That's probably true. Okay, let's go campsite. <laughs> if we get set up, then we can bird watch. Okay. Okay. Ooh, pretty woods. I like that like chartreuse green that the leaves are at yeah. this point. When they're first growing. Yeah. The baby leaves. Yeah. They're like sour straw green. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe over here? Maybe. <laughs> you seem super unconvinced. Okay, what's this over here? Huh? What is this? A hill. A hill. Yeah. Right, well, oh, there's bur uh, deer poop. I thought you were gonna say something much scarier than deer poop. <laughs> well, it might be scarier than deer poop. Did you see it? I see it. Yeah. Deer poop. Is that deer poop or bunny poop? Oh, that's too big for bunny poop. Yeah, I think so. Unless that's a big old bunny. Like maybe, what about right here? It's not totally level, but it's somewhat level. Uh, what about like the tarps? Okay, right, so I don't know how long our string is, but we got this birch tree here, we got this tree, some little guys here. If our cord is long enough, I think we could use those trees. Okay. All right, let's start chopping. What? I don't know. We're not chopping. Why? You're not chopping down any trees. Can we chop? <laughs> I don't want to chop any trees down. I just want to chop dead trees into other small parts. Okay, that's fine. But that comes later. Okay. Okay. That'll be nice. I love this little drawing. It's not bad for like five minutes. It's so cute. I'm covered in bugs. Yeah. Here is the tarp that we put up. This is a bowline knot. It serves as one half of our ridge line. On the other side of our ridge line is this trucker's hitch. That way I can adjust the tension if I want to. Attaching our tarp to our ridge line it's our Prusik knot, which you can slide along the ridge line, but then it, under tension, it stays tight. Attaching the tarp is this toggle with a fisherman's knot. Then I have a little half bunny ears tying this corner. And then on this end, I have another trucker hitch. This final corner has another little half bunny ear, and then that goes all the way down to another trucker hitch that has a stake about a foot down into the ground. So this tarp is for our rain plan, so we're gonna take it down, and then if it rains, we can pretty easily put it back up. Right.
while Julie's going to get groceries, I'm gonna make myself a little ground bed here. Can't have big sticks in your ground bed. Pretty soft. I mean, it's made of leaves, but it's pretty soft. I can sleep here. Ooh, pretty, pretty trees. And it's starting to drizzle. So I'm going to enact our rain plan and put up our tarp. So the nice thing about the tarp is that it only took about four minutes to put up, but it does only cover about 75% of our tent and not 100% of our tent, which our tent has a rain fly, so I think it'll be okay. I am starting to fire with the flint and steel. Oh my god. Oh. Dog's got something cornered over there. What is it? Oh, a snake! Whoa! Nope, come on, Jazzy, come on, come on! What kind of snake? I don't know. Oh, it's eating a frog. Oh my god. Scary snake over there. Fire is going. Fire looks good. Yeah. Just a matter of how many snakes are there out here. Right? Ah! This is a knife that my brother gave me. I like it very much. It's very sharp. And it's also good for whittling because it has a very shallow bevel on the peak there. I don't know what I'm making. I think it's some sort of maybe dog or bird. I think this will work. Oh, they smell so good. I love hot dogs. I'll take my dog now. What, do you want this first one, I guess? Yeah, that's fine. Christian. What? That is not closed. Uh-oh. Gonna let all the bugs in there and we ain't gonna be able to get them out. I don't think bugs wanna get in there yet. Cause we're not in there. Don't trust a bug. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, I'm coming, I'm coming. Eat me, eat me, says the hot dog. Hi. You're back. Hi, Jazzy. I'm so glad to see you, Jazzy. Hey, Jazzy. Those are Oreos, those are not for you. Don't eat fast or gorge. Take always plenty of time. Haste 
is vulgar. Don't take huge mouthfuls or fill your mouth with too much food. Don't masticate audibly. Do measure anything tall, such as a building or tree, by simply measuring its shadow at a given time. By placing a stick in the ground and waiting until the shadow length equals its own height, all other object shadows will at that instant be also equal their height. You gotta wait like three hours. Yeah. Do pack fancy frosted cakes for mailing in popcorn. The icing will smear less, but even when it does, the icing will simply produce a sweetened popcorn. Good to eat. Don't neglect the small hairs that project from the nostrils <laughs> and grow about the apertures of the ears. These are small matters of the toilet that often are overlooked. It has like a little tree growing out of a man's nose. <laughs> Do discourage flies by putting out a plate containing half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of brown sugar, and a teaspoon of cream. This strange recipe of the 1700s has no logic but seems to work. Okay, it is bedtime. It's like 11 o'clock. Um, we're both in our sleeping bags that have armholes. Are you scared of beers? Bears? Beers? Be uh, I combined deers and bears. Beers? I'm not scared of deers. Yeah. I'm scared of bears. Of a bears, yeah. Or, or maybe a, a feisty snake. raccoon or a snake. I don't know how a snake's getting in here though. What if they just slither under us? They probably won't. Yeah, but we saw that snake eat that frog. I think it was a frog. I didn't see a tail. I saw it moving down its abdomen. Oh, anyway. The snakes are weird. I mean, they're beautiful, but they're also gross. All right. Good night. Good night. Don't let the beard bite. What was it? Good night. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>